Hey man, I thought I'd give you an update here. I uh, got another coat on today. So this is number two. Tomorrow will be three, Sunday be four and five probably, or maybe tomorrow will be two coats and then one coat, or uh, two more coats Sunday. My dad's gonna coat it this weekend while I'm in Nashville. I've gotta take a, a client down on a 70 footer. I've got my 100 ton master captain's license. And, uh, so I'm taking a client down there on a 70 foot 1938 for a UK football game. So <clears throat> right here is where I put one of the plugs. As you can see the varnish is building up on it. It doesn't, it's kind of rough looking still. It's not a show car finish yet. But you can see the, uh, the other bones covering the screws coming down the side. Uh, actually, I've glued that down with epoxy too. So between the epoxy and the and the screw in there, that, that thing's not moving. So and, and this these screws are actually fastening these three sections. You have mahogany, teak mahogany. Um, so it's holding those together. It was loose in a couple spots. May go all the way to the end here. And of course, I put some fasten these down to these back corners. If you can tell the difference in the shine, it gets really broke up. That light gets really broke up. <clears throat> That's where it was bare wood, where I sanded it down to match. So it's real broke up there, and it's pretty smooth there. It's going to get even smoother after we sand it next. Real broke up, how the lights real broke up, and then the light is not there. Here's another section. This is, it's got some bare wood in the seam. It was bare wood in the seam, so right, let me get my finger in the picture. Right above my finger is rough to the outsides, is smooth. screws on it this side too this top edge was pretty you can see how pretty rough it is still that's because I actually took a hand plane these were about an eighth of an inch off uh, the height difference the outside was maybe about an eighth of an inch taller than the rest and they were kind of separated I poured epoxy in wherever I could but I didn't want to go pulling it apart either so that's why I added all the screws to it to make sure it didn't come loose on you over time. And they're placed, I believe I placed them every seven inches if I remember correctly. So, so. And if you want to paint the name on the boat, right here's your artist. <laughs>